Hey guys, Silent Sail here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross tutorial video. As you can see, we have just passed a brand new update to Uta Macross uh, as of today. Uh, it's If I'm not wrong, I think it's the 27th of um, September 2018. So as you can see, on the left hand corner, we have a brand new icon below Valkyrie Operations. Now, this actually isn't very new information if you have watched my breakdown video of the Uta Macross SP broadcast um, some months back you probably know that these items were supposed to be implemented some time ago it's just that there was some delay uh, in, in uh, inputting the code into the game um, so yeah finally they have uh, gotten it uh, implemented and we can take a look at what it finally is like to actually purchase the Utah Macross Pass. So let's tap this. Okay, and we enter this special page for purchasing the Utah Macross Pass. So Utah Maku Pass in short. Alright, so let me explain what all this Japanese text is um, just for um, the sake of your interest in maybe trying to purchase this pass because well it does gives off it does give off a few rare items to the package that you're gonna purchase yes you heard me right it is a package now this pass lasts for one month all right so it is a duration of one month now basically what you're gonna get is um your player rank and your diva affections all right or not not diva affections your divas proficiency will be improved by 1.2 times during this one month period and of course you will gain special exclusive valkyrie operations uh during this time period as well so we're gonna take a look at what all these special valkyrie operations are once i have purchased um the pass uh it's currently the 27th of uh, September so the day hasn't reset yet as of this update so what other stuff that you'll probably get let's take a look at the sheet here so basically you'll be paying for an entire 20 month um, I guess no actually it's supposed to be um, for a month so a month doesn't have 20 days so this is just one page it consists of 20 items that you can claim Alright guys, so as you can see on the screen, I have my receipt from Apple Store uh, after purchasing the Utamaku Pass and it lasts until the 26th of October 2018 as from the date I've purchased which is the 27th of October 2018. Um, so yeah, it will last you a month duration and they will calculate the days uh, within the month itself so as to cut you off the subscription. Uh, once the deadline meets its uh, due. So guys, uh, do take note, the days that you will have available for logging in to collect bonuses is up to the date that this description, or rather this subscription ends uh, as stated in your um, store receipt for your phone, I guess. If you're an Android user, I don't know how they actually give a receipt to you, but yeah, this is how Apple does it. So guys, pay attention to the um, subscription end date uh, as of the on the receipt itself. So at the twenty five login, you will gain a rarity star. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the items descriptions and what they do, please go watch my SP breakdown video. I'll leave the description. Uh, I leave the link in the description down below and I cut up here uh, just for you guys to have an easy access to that video. It is going to be a very long video but I highly recommend you to watch it because it is very detailed on what all these special new items you can get from the Uta Maku Pass uh, that lasts for a month. So I'm sure most of you guys have seen this by now. This is actually um, used to refresh your event songs if you aren't familiar with it let's just take a look at the event page all right here we go so you can see that they use the item to refresh play for the event if you are lacking on resources or maybe you want to try and clear the um, difficulties to get that five episode ops uh, yeah episode stones for your gacha pools you know that kind of thing so <laughs> yeah okay let's get back to the page 
and we're gonna talk about the rewards. Okay, so on the page for the pass itself, there's this red color uh, banner here. All right. So what does it say? Basically, for first time purchase only, um, Cho GQ uh, log in bonus at the twenty five mark, you gain the rarity star, rarity up star as a present. So normally in the details here, what does it say? Basically, at the 90th login, you will gain one Rarity Up Star as a present. So instead of logging in for 90, you will be given one Rarity Star at the 25th login for the first time purchase only. So do take note, the pass lasts for a month. Yeah. So I'm going to purchase this early because... Right now, it's the 27th of September. We don't know how long the month duration is going to be. If it resets at the uh, beginning of October, then yes, my money has gone down the drain. So we're going to take a look at this. Um, this video will probably will only be put up um, on the 1st or 2nd of October uh, after validating all the information. So guys, if you have been patient waiting for this video for me to explain to you guys fully what the Uta Mark Pass is all about, thank you guys for waiting until now. Um, especially for those who are on the Macross Space Time Culture group, I probably have put up a notice regarding the delay in the video explaining about this. Um, yeah, so you guys will probably know ahead of time um, why it's taking so long for me to process this video and all that. So. If you guys aren't following us on this Facebook group Macross Space Time The Culture where I'm administrating on, please do join us. The link is in the description down below. You can join us. But make sure you answer the questionnaires before you submit for admission because uh, we are pretty strict on who we accept. So if you guys don't answer the questions, we will definitely decline your request to join the group. Alright, so moving on, the other thing that you can actually obtain from the whole bunch of stuff other than the uh, life actors, yeah, life actors that you can actually obtain, you will have this special special Choji Q uh, Yosai. Uh, sorry, sorry, Choji Q Yosai. Yeah, uh, gacha ticket. So this is actually used for a very special gacha banner uh, that is not permanently implemented into the gacha page. And of course, there is this item as well. Now, what in the world is this package? You must be wondering. It says here premium gift yeah so when you hear gift what does it remind you of uh well basically it's your diva affection if you recall um in my tutorial video regarding the diva affection there is this gift button so yes it's related to that now i'm not too sure whether my previous sp breakdown video did mention about the gift um, but let me just explain to you guys right here what it actually does. Basically, whatever the diva requests for, you just give this gift. It will give the maximum amount of um, affection points that you can probably earn. Um, like the highest rarity items will give you a thousand affection points. Then because of the correct request that you've given, you'll probably increase by 100%. 50% but the premium gift will definitely give you a full maximum boost no matter what they request for so yeah that's pretty awesome so as you can see there is a lot of tickets for the Cho GQ um, gacha so yeah there's like you know four four so eight pieces of tickets here now let's take a look at the gacha banner though um, there is something you need to take note of the gacha for this um, Utamaku pass okay here we go so if we take a look at the entire details here now the banner for the gacha will change so the date is available here the next change for the uh, lineup uh, basically ends tonight uh, so yeah it says here the 27th of September 2018 <laughs> so I think the gacha, gacha banner relates to the one that's currently going on yeah so that's pretty interesting so if you are waiting for a specific costume and all that i would highly recommend you to wait for the gacha banner to change that kind of thing 
But do take note, there is something you need to take note very importantly is that the tickets do have an expiration date. So as you can see, I have not purchased the uh, package yet. Therefore, there is no expiration date. I have no tickets on hand. Therefore, it's not shown here. So yes, do take note. You have an expiration date to the tickets. So you need to use the tickets by that expiration date that it will show up once you have obtained the tickets itself. Now, if you're wondering what the gacha rates are, you can tap the pink button that I just tapped. Sorry, not the tap, not the pink button, the blue button. Um, yeah, the blue button here. So as you can see, five star episode plates have a five percent chance of uh, coming out from the gacha, same as the three star, sorry, two star and one star episode plates. They are the same percentage. While of course the four star and three star episode plates have a higher chance of popping out. So definitely. If you're wondering if it's worth the money or not um, to actually buy the Uta Mark Pass, here is my opinion. Okay, the only thing that is very worthwhile for this pass is actually the Rarity Up Star. Um, so yeah, the Rare Up Star. Now, what if you don't know what the Rare Up Star does? Okay, please watch the SP breakdown video. Um, yeah, it is the most important item that you can actually get from this entire thing. But with a 90 day lock in, you're gonna have to purchase 3 months worth of Uta Mark Pass, which is gonna end up like what, 3600 yen? Uh, if you round up, that's about US dollar, 36 US dollars um, for 3 months. So if you, if you have the um, the money to invest in this I will highly recommend you to do so because you still get tickets for the gacha pool so you, it's in a way it's like purchasing singing stones uh, in a way it is not you know because singing stones you can actually pull the current um, gacha banners uh, with the big red up and all that so there's a lot of things to balance out to actually consider this worthwhile or not but main thing is the rare up star why because of its use, you can actually just um, change your force. Wait, let me just. Um, yeah, Rare Up Stars. Wait, yeah, hold on. Let me just see if I can find the description for the item here. Uh, item. Oh, it's not here. Huh. Okay, so strangely enough. The item details can't be found here. So if you have watched the SP broadcast, you probably know what it does. Um, yeah, it's the most useful stuff uh, available within this entire thing, other than the tickets, you know, and of course the wonderful resources. But nowadays, because of the Valkyrie operation, resources isn't a problem anymore. So everything else here is pretty useful, especially for those uh, divas that you have not mixed up their affections. So I guess this gift is useful, but for players who have probably maxed out most of the diva affections, this item is probably useless, pointless by now, unless Uta Macross or Dana decides to find another use for affection items, other than you know just storing up and then uh, get pointlessly get, get, getting dust um, because you have maxed out every single one of your divas affection by then. So the tickets are the next important things other than the um, the rare up star and of course followed by the life actors and of course followed by this and of course by this. So yeah and of course there's a lot of terms and conditions when it comes to purchasing in-game data with real life money because they want to protect their ass from being sued. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's pretty much all the information there is about Utamaku Pass. Um, is it worthwhile? Personally, um, I think it's really on the thin line of saying worthwhile or not. But if you are a brand new player for Utamacross, this bundle or rather this pass is going to benefit you greatly. So for old time players, if, if you're probably trying to rank yourself up to gain more energy to play and all that um, yes the 1.2 times exp is gonna help you out quite a bit plus we don't know whether the Valkyrie operations are actually very very useful maybe they drop rare very rare items so let's just take a look um, 
I'm gonna purchase the bundle right now. So I'm gonna do some agree to the terms and purchase the bundle. Uh, I'll see you guys in a bit after I purchase the pass. Okay, welcome back. I've just purchased the pass, and you can see they have tossed me a bunch of stuff that I've obtained from the login bonus for the Chojuku Yosai login. So as you can see, I've gotten the first stamp here. All right, so we're gonna slowly cover our way through. All right, for the next thirty days. So as you can see, it says here the login bonus is gonna last for thirty days. So we got until twenty. So make sure you log in faithfully. If you don't log in faithfully, you're gonna waste away the thirty days. So there's gonna be ten more slots that you can actually um, claim. You know, after the twentieth one. So if you miss any of the days. I'm so sorry guys, you're gonna waste away one day just like that. So that's my recommendation for you. If you are a faithful player of Utama Cross, go ahead and purchase this pass. If not, I highly recommend you not to spend your money um, pointlessly on this. I would rather you just buy singing stones from the store itself. Alright, so um, we're gonna check back again in the next day or so. Um, after I've gotten like maybe the tickets on the third day uh, and then we'll see whether the expiration date lasts for how long for the particular ticket itself so guys uh, I'll see you guys in a moment uh, for me it's just another two days away so <laughs> see you alright if you take a look at this image here I have the Valkyrie operation with the um, Utamaku Pass logo on it as you can see it drops um, the large <coughs> stone um, for the costumes and uh, its difficulty level is only one and of course the random item drop at the end of the mission um, basically could be anything uh, I have gotten the Kawawa dolls before for random divas as rewards for the past two days so guys um, if the items from the login bonus doesn't really entice you I think Spending that 1,200 yen actually will benefit you from all the Valkyrie Operation missions because the stones for the Kawa costume upgrades are kind of hard to come by especially the larger ones and the medium ones the small ones are definitely easy to come by if you have been faithfully playing the game and completing Valkyrie Operation um, yeah so the pass itself is very very useful when it comes to the um, exclusive Valkyrie operation missions for uh, the game and yeah and of course not forgetting the rare up star that ev uh, mostly everybody wants from this pass alone so guys <clears throat> let's move on to talk about um, the ticketing uh, uh, system for the Utamaku pass Okay guys, so as you can see, we are finally on day 3 of the Utamaku Pass. Gotten myself the tickets, uh, which is the most important thing because we need to verify whether it is actually worthwhile to uh, pay the sum of money for this subscription for Utamaku Cross and whether the gacha spe specially designed for this Utamaku Pass is actually worthwhile to pull. So yeah, I've been waiting two whole days just to get this video completed. Finally, we have come to this point. Okay, so I'm going to collect my pass. Oh, it's already given to me? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get down to the gacha page. Alright, so as you can see, we finally have an expiration date. So yeah, it lasts for a whole month, surprisingly. So as of today that I'm pulling the ticket, it's the 29th of September 2018. Therefore, a whole month of duration for the ticket to expire. So if you guys want to actually save up the tickets, um, it is possible to save up for a whole month's worth. Um, and yeah, just do take note though, the gacha allows you to pull from one star to five star plates so it's not a guarantee that you will get a very good um, gacha pool 
it, you might end up like with if you collected like a 10 ticket thing or um, if you collected 8 tickets because like within the 20 days there's 8 tickets so within a month I guess you might have more than 10 um, and if you put 10 tickets all at one go uh, it doesn't guarantee you like a normal gacha um, that you you might have um, a 5 star plate in fact normal gachas don't really guarantee you that you have a 5 star plate for sure um, so yeah with that in mind guys um, it might be a pain to be patient to collect all the tickets at one go within a month and by the time you've collected maybe the last ticket for the month itself you have to be very wary of the expiration date um, for all the tickets itself so always be mindful of when your tickets expire um, my my advice to you guys is um, it's probably best to maybe like save up for three quarter way of the month uh, if you want to pull a large amount of tickets at one go yeah so let's take a look by pulling if you're wondering why both buttons say one ticket because i only have one ticket Probably if I had more than one ticket, this button will change like the, the other rest of the gachas. Um, they'll let you pull whatever amount of tickets that you have at one go. So let's just do this. We're going to pull one ticket worth of uh, episode plate. Alright, let's do this. So one plane. I'm surprised we even get a plane. Yeah, no no surprise about a silver box though. There we go. So we did get a two star, which is about a five percent <laughs> chance to actually get it. Um wow, surprisingly it's a new plate that I've never gotten before. So that's pretty wonderful. Alright, so uh, that's basically it for all the stuff for the Utamaku Pass. Um, if you guys have watched my SP breakdown video, you probably know um, what the items do by now, especially the life, uh, life ether and of course the present the premium gift. So honestly speaking, is this pass worth the 1,200 yen? Um, for its initial rewards, I would probably say no. But for the rare up star, yes. Um, because the rare up star um, acts as a duplicate plate that for those episode plates that have not been fully evolved. Um, yeah, so right now, because I do not have the rare up star, I cannot show you guys how it will work when it comes to uh, using it on an episode plate that might uh, be fully evolved. Um, if we take a look at the episode plates right now, I'm not too sure whether you can actually use it on a fully evolved um, 5 star plate. So let's take a look guys. Um, Alright, so let's say for example, I have this plate for Ranka uh, recently fully evolved. As you can see, if we scroll all the way, and there is no logo for the rare up star. So I guess you can't really use it on an episode plate that has been fully evolved. Um, let's maybe take a look at that old 5 star episode plate um, that has not been fully evolved. Like maybe this one with Seville. There you go. So there is the rare up star logo that lets you use the rare up star to fully evolve the five star plate to a six star plate so my guess from this um it concludes that the rare up star can only be used on plates that have not been fully evolved so you can see i have a bunch of five star plates probably even event episode plates that you may not be able to get anymore so i guess the rare up star is probably useful in this manner where it fills up um an old event episode plate that you might not get anymore um, especially this one for Keith I know yeah 
uh, for Keith. Um, I would like to evolve this plate because um, this plate has the ability. Oh, not this plate. Okay, there is another Keith plate though. <laughs> ah, this one. This one. This well, this was an old event plate, so this plate had the item notes. So I definitely might want to try and evolve this old event plate, you know, to 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 benefit fully for its uh, item note use. Um, of course, evolving the right plate with a rare up star is another matter, guys. So, um, yeah, that one really depends on how well you know your episode plates, the skills, um, the specialization it's used for, that kind of thing. So, if you guys have been paying attention to all my gacha videos in the past, uh, especially of recent, um, I have been explaining to uh, you guys what the episode plate is capable of doing, its uh, life skill, its center skill, its um, active skill and of course its special notes um, if you've been paying attention to those small details as well you probably want to um, keep in mind which episode plates you want to fully evolve from a 5 star to a 6 star you know just to benefit um, yourself in terms of high score challenges, mission clearing, that kind of thing uh, yeah so guys uh, thank you so much for being patient for this video. It is probably two days after the launch um, of the Utamaku Pass. And finally, you guys can decide for yourself personally whether you want to spend the money or not. Um, if you don't have the spare cash, I think not spending on Utamaku Pass is fine. The Red Upstar isn't exactly the most fantastic item out there. Uh, it might be more beneficial for you to actually save up the Yen or US dollars, whichever currency you're using to purchase the um, in-game store currency. Yeah, save up the money, maybe buy more singing stones at a cheaper discount rate whenever there's an offer, and pull gachas itself, you know, because, uh, well, sometimes all you actually need is actually the episode plates instead of all the resources that the Utamaku Pass um, is able to give you, because Right now, due to the fact that we have Valkyrie Operations resources for the um, resources for the episode plates um, stats and all this, are actually pretty easy to come by nowadays. So um, yeah, this this first column, uh, yeah, is pretty redundant. Uh, <laughs> the rest of it is pretty decent though, especially this one and the tickets. The present in the future, in the long run, is probably not going to be very useful. But for the meantime, for us players who have not rushed the game like crazy um, and have not maxed out certain divas affections, the present is pretty um, useful at this point of time. So, with all that said, guys, it really weighs down on you on how fast you want to progress in your game for Uta Macross. I think the entire Uta Macross pass. Um, can be given a miss. Uh, it is not a very expensive thing. 1,200 yen is about 12 US dollars. So guys, if you have a bit of the money every month, I think that's fine to invest in. But in the long run, because it needs 90 days, uh, yeah, because I paid for it, so it goes straight to this. But yeah, um, because it actually needs, oh, I can't really show you guys the old um, achievement requirements for the rare star, but yes, um, the rare up star actually requires you normally to uh, log in 19, 90 days, 90 days consecutively to obtain one rare up star. So, guys, um, within that 90 days of login, maybe you have enough tickets to actually get yourself a duplicate copy of the episode plate you want to evolve, which is pretty good. Then you can save up your rare up star for other episode plays in the future so think of it as a very long term investment um, it might not be the best investment but it is there to help your gameplay move along a bit more smoother especially with the 1.2 times um, experience for um, your, your divas proficiency plus your player rank um, and of course not forgetting that um, you know, the, the Valkyrie Operation missions also give you pretty good rewards um, 
for a very low low level difficulty operation so with all this said guys uh, i leave it up to you to decide whether you want to spend the 1200 yen on this monthly subscription in uta macros or not but personally for myself i think i'll see myself actually um paying the subscription monthly um, to support the game and of course to create more video content for you guys in terms of theories and uh, you know this kind of thing so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this video has probably given you a more um, better outlook a clearer outlook on Utamaku Pass and uh, given you a better decision on whether you want to spend the money or not uh, if it has made you more cloudy I apologize for that <laughs> but yes when it comes to money it is a very grey area whether you want to support something or not. So, yeah, with all that said, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!